tell me, Addy, why is the moon got a dark side? Because it never shows us its back. Oh, but how's that possible? The moon spins on its own axis in a little bit more than 27 days, which is exactly the same time it takes to orbit the Earth. Easy! It's not a coincidence. Little by little, the moon has slowed down so that the two lengths of time are the same. It's like that for other planets' moons, too. Oh, wowee! So that'll be another one of those laws of universal attraction, then. So that's why we always see the same side of the moon. But the side we see is really bright. In fact, it's not the moon that's bright. We only see it because it's lit by the sun. But why do we sometimes see a whole moon, <laughs> then a crescent, and then sometimes nothing at all? Because the positions of the moon, the sun and the earth change, and so the moon isn't always lit up in the same way. When there's a new moon, the moon is in the sky in the middle of the day. The sun only lights up its dark side, so we don't see the moon at all. Oh, so there are moonless nights then. Later, starting from the right, the visible face of the moon is more and more lit up by the sun. That's when we say the moon is crescent-shaped. When the right half of the moon is lit up, that's called the first quarter. From the Earth during that time, we can see a little bit of the moon lit up by the sun. And gradually, more and more of the moon is lit up. It's big, it's round, it's white, and it's known as the full moon. Oh, the night where the whoops turns into the wolf whoops. Ah! Luckily, the moon starts to wane the next day. It becomes less and less lit up until all that's left is a mini crescent on the left. And then it's back to the new moon. In fact, we could show the different phases of the moon with a lamp and a ball. First quarter, last quarter, full moon! <laughs> Apart from turning whoops into wolf whoops, the moon affects our planet in another way. Universal attraction means that the Earth and moon are attracted to each other, just like boyfriends and girlfriends. But the moon doesn't fall onto the Earth because it's travelling too fast around it. And it's the attraction or pull of the moon which causes tides. The moon lifts up a tiny bit of the oceans every time it passes over. Powerful! During a new moon, the pull is even stronger. But the strongest pull and the highest tides happen when the Earth is between the sun and the moon. It's as if you're pulling a round ball from either end to make it oval. More powerful! 400 million years ago, each day lasted only 21 hours instead of 24 today. Give me my ball! My ball! <laughs> Come on then, bye Earthlings! Why has the moon got a hidden side and a visible one that changes all the time? It revolves around its own axis at the same speed as the Earth, so we always see the same side. This side shines because it's lit up by the sun, but during a month, the sun can light up all of it some of it or none of it. <laughs>